son of God, and you are God's property. I hope you will walk in that awareness. Hello, podcast listener. We are glad to host you on this platform. Gift to Church Podcast is a daily devotional to feed you with positive news to do life. We hope you find encouragement as you make time to listen to today's podcast. God bless you. The sister teaching of Pastor Kwame Chapel. My name is Rabina. Now let's get into today's word. Praise the Lord. The entrance of his word brings light and understanding to the simple. It's always a joy to connect with all of you. We, my wife and I, we came to another place for a program. And so it has become a very exhaust. Um, I don't know the English word for this one. Like exhausted pretty much. But my podcast is my first love. So I have to connect with you and share God's word with you. The flower phase that lives with it. But the word of God abide forever. Amen. And so I'm at a hotel somewhere and I'm connected with you. Amen. All right. Um I'm reading from the book of Luke as we share God's word together. The book of Luke. Um in the gospel as according to Dr. Luke, there's a, a short phrase. I want you to focus on the Bible says in Luke 2 34 somewhere in there it says "De," it says this child is destined this child is destined amen this child is destined um obviously they're talking about Jesus Christ this is when the prophet Simeon saw Joseph and Mary care, uh, bringing Jesus to the temple and the Lord through the prophet Simeon said, This child is destined to do A, B, C, D. Now, when you hear the word destined, it speaks of hope, it speaks of completeness, and it speaks of purpose. And that's what I want to explore with you today. And I want to keep it simple because I'm exhausted, but it's still going to be God's word. Now, once um, you understand that um, your birthday, the day you were born, it wasn't just your birth, but your destiny was also born, then you understand that you are a music to be played. Is somebody hearing me? Your life is a music to be played. The first day you were born, we push play on your head and we are to listen to a particular music which is scored by God already. Jesus at this point was I think only eight days but Simeon looked at the baby and said In, inside this baby is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I want you to understand that inside your life there is a destiny. There, is, there, is, there, are, there are things that have been marked for your life. And that's kind of what I want to say to you that your life has been scored. There are two kinds of playing music. There's one you play by the music sheet, where the beginning of the music to the end of the music is all scored. And all you got to do is just keep playing what you see. And another kind of music where you play by ear, where you don't know where you're going. Your life is not created by ear, your life is created by a blueprint there's a destiny concerning your life so i want to remind you on today that this child which is you you have been destined for a b c d now the implication therefore is that there's an aspect of your life that you must recognize that tomorrow has been told about you oh god help me the future has some information about you. The only way for you to be destined is by somebody going into tomorrow and planting certain issues about your life that you are yet to fulfill. When Simeon told the baby Jesus, this child is destined to bring these things to pass, what Samuel was saying is that in the days to come, there are certain things that this baby is already preordained to do. 
once you understand that your life is a destined life you understand that the future has your information and there are certain places in your life where certain things will happen to you so what i'm trying to let you understand is that you are not about to meet monday tuesday wednesday for the first time monday and tuesday have been worked already with the span of your life because i sense that sometimes you look at yourself and you say life has nothing for me because you have been lied to to think that you are doing life one day at a time you are not doing life one day at a time your life is a destined life that means that all the days of your life has been already picked painted edited and orchestrated for the word that was spoken before time concerning you i somebody hear me so it means that you have a share in tomorrow it means that you have a portion in tomorrow it means that you have a, a, your your you have an accommodation in the future destiny means that you have an accommodation in the future destiny means that there is a report in the newspaper about you in the years to come and all of us who understand destiny understand that what we are looking at today is not who i am because tomorrow has a version of me that my destiny is yet to reveal to the world so i came to show you a mystery about who you are to let you understand that you cannot tell me you have lost hope when you don't know how tomorrow has been told to so tomorrow has been told to bring you certain things tomorrow has been told to do certain things to you tomorrow has been told that because this is her destiny this is the day you bring the husband into the picture because this is his destiny this is the way this is the day this and that happens because destiny tells you that the future is already established i'm going to teach a little mystery and then i'm going to pray because i i am super exhausted the concept of time is very difficult to explain when you are standing in eternity as i'm speaking to you god exists in the dimension where time does not apply so because of that god is always the same every time any time to the point that only god is now the future we have seen gone the present we are living in and the future we are yet to live in in other words where god is sitting all the days are before his face as one day or time is no more therefore everything god sees he sees it as one piece are you hearing me so that when god looks at you he sees the f- all of you in one the you that was 2 years old the you that was 3 years old the you that was 4 years old the you that was five, all the way to the last day of your life god sees all of that at the same time so there isn't any future so to speak in god amen So I will I want you to rest assured that every day that you wake up it wasn't by accident it was by destiny those who are not supposed to see tomorrow will not see tomorrow to so every day that you wake up it is the destiny concerning your life that made you be counted among the living 
and it's not enough for the day to give you its hours but the day must give you its advantages it's part of your destiny to receive advantages from God so I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that your future is bright because there's a handwriting concern your life and in the fullness of time the reason why God made you come to pass God will never make any person that he's not needed for anything you are a destiny child there is something about your life that's why you are still alive and that thing will happen so don't calculate who you are based on where you are coming from because you are where you are coming from you are where you are now and you are where you are going when you put it all three together that is a footprint of destiny i want you to believe me that there's more to your life in the next coming attraction there's more to your life in the next chapter of your life something is going to happen i said something is going to happen to you because that is the kind of life that you have something is going to happen to you i don't care how old you are something is going to happen to you again that's why we are so alive if you were done with your assignment you would have been gone by now if your destiny had finished downloading or uploading you you would be gone by now so when you see a new day understand that your destiny is now over there is something else that you need to do there's something else that life will bring your way there's something else that's lay ahead of you for this is your destiny this is what you were destined to do this is what you were preordained to do before the beginning of time this is what you were born to do hallelujah and so i just came to try and remind you of how your life was designed before you were born that it the entire life you were going to live on earth was penned down by god and he said this is the destiny of this girl may you walk in your destiny and fulfill your purpose let's pray father we thank you we bless you that we are not a mistake or neither an accident but we are well thought calculated plan and our destinies will speak in jesus mighty name amen